Hi, practice your listening comprehension. Listen to these three different weird ways of the world. I'm sitting now in Belgium and I'd like to tell you some things that I've been discussing with uh, some other people from different nations because I'm at an international venue, a sports event, and it's interesting to compare different ways. This is Susan Broder from Speak Languages and Travel the World, here to help you improve your English with minimum effort and maximum benefit. So here are three different weird ways of the world. Listen to them, and if you've understood, please write down in the comments box below what you've understood. But more than anything else, I'd also like you to add your own weird ways of the world, your own habits that you know may be different from those of other countries. So the first thing that we've been noticing is that whilst in Southern Europe, countries tend to eat very late, so um, 7.30, 8, and in Spain even later, 9.30, 10 p.m. In Northern Europe, countries tend to eat very early, 5, 5.30, 6. This is um, a little bit difficult then when uh, international people get together because their uh, bodies are not um, used to this. Uh, I have the problem that, for example, my daughter, she's used to eating late, around 8 or 8.30, and she's an athlete, so she trains before eating. Whilst her counterparts in Holland, where she studies, they tend to eat early, and then they train around seven. So uh, by nine, when they've finished, they're ready to go to bed, whilst she's really hungry and would like to have her meal. So um, this just uh, is one of the weird ways of the world. Uh, another is food. So it's interesting to compare breakfasts. Uh, in many countries, in Asia for example, they eat a savoury breakfast, which means it's not sweet, it's savoury, it has salt in it. Uh, now it's true that Great Britain is famous for its um, British breakfast, egg, bacon and sausages etc. But that nowadays is usually limited to the weekend when people have more time to cook and it's usually incorporated into a brunch. But every day in Great Britain people tend to eat something sweeter, cereal um, with milk and generally it's uh, either plain or sweet, it's rarely savoury. On the other hand, in Northern Europe they tend to eat cheese, ham and bread for breakfast. And I've heard that in um, Spain they tend to eat bread with tomato and oil. So um, many countries also eat bread and jam. Uh, there's very uh, many differences. There's of course no right or no wrong. What do you eat for breakfast in your country? And the last uh, weird way of the world is connected to bedtime. So in Southern Europe, probably due to the heat, people tend to have an afternoon nap, what is called a siesta in Spain, and therefore they go to bed much later, their children as well. Um, the difficulty there is that families never have a time, I mean parents, for themselves because they always have these children hopping around and even if they're tired the children seem to have uh, an immense amount of energy and it's difficult to get them to bed. On the other hand in Northern Europe people tend not to have an afternoon nap, to have an early dinner and by 7.30 the younger children are in bed. And this is very nice if a couple then wants to spend some time together, just an evening to themselves, discussing their um, latest projects and just having time for each other. There's again no right or wrong, it's just different. So these are three weird ways of the world. I know there are many, many more and I'm sure we'll talk about them in future. But if you want to add any in the comments box, I'd be really excited to read about any weird ways of the world that you can tell me about. Okay, and that's all for today. I look forward to seeing all the comments in the comments box. Bye!